Sleeping Beauty. It's time to get up. Uh-oh. <laughs> you told me to wake you at 7. It's almost 7.30. That's impossible. I just went to bed like a minute ago. Yeah, practically. You're up all night working again. What'd you sleep in today? I can't. I got a bunch of pieces to get ready for the show. I gotta get the house ready for the party tonight. You have been painting 20-hour days for a month now. You're gonna burn out. I'd be surprised if you even make it to this party. Oh, I'm gonna make it to the party. <laughs> This is all gonna calm down after the opening, I swear. I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna sleep for a month. <laughs> You've worked really hard for this. I'm proud of you, Adrian. I'm really, really proud of you. Thanks. Coffee's on. I have to go. Kiss. Okay. You have a really good day. I will. Call me. Mm. You look good. Thank you. Oh. Perfect. Absolutely perfect.
the subpoena the lease contracts? Yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Hello? Hey, it's me, baby. Hey, hold on a second. Sure. Yes, and I want you to get the minutes from the June 2003 board meeting. We need to establish the board members were aware of the failed safety reviews in order to prove negligence. So, thank you, Victor. So, hi, I'm back. Bad time? <laughs> Is there another kind? How are you? Good, good. Penelope's coming over to look at some of the pieces. Is everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry, honey. I'm really swamped here. All right, well, I love you. Okay, you too. Bye. Doing killing a little time before we can start drinking? <laughs> Michelle told me she wants me to blow the leaves today. She said it had to be done today. Do you see how many fucking leaves are still on the trees? Oh, that's a good point. What'd she say? Today. today. <laughs> so, have you met the new neighbor? I haven't even seen him. Yeah, me neither. It's kind of weird, huh? Uh, maybe he's just a private guy. Yeah. That or peeping Tom. <laughs> what? I was on my deck earlier. I saw a shadow in the window. I think somebody in there is watching me. And that light, it's just on all the time, day or night. Maybe he's some psycho with an axe. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm just going to put up a nice tall fence. You're getting paranoid, dude. I'll see you later. Hope that fence is axe proof. Don't forget to add an insurance rider. Our policy won't cover the pieces during international shipping. Well, call me when it's done. Penelope. Mwah. You look beautiful. Don't be a flatterer, my boy. Are you going to have everything completed on schedule? Yeah, everything's going along just fine. So, are you still coming tonight? Well, I picked up my costume this morning. Great. You need me to bring anything? Yeah, just your wicked sense of humor and my vaunted tolerance for the conversationally impaired? Yeah, that too. Oh, what's this? No, don't, don't. That's not for you. I've never seen anything like this from you. It's, it's... Disturbing. No. It's riveting. One of those images in my head I couldn't shake. So I painted it. Clearly, it's from your darker side. Your inner Cavaggio, so to speak. Oh, there's an eloquent moroseness in it. Adrian, this is really perfect. Damn it! 
definitely this one. Really? Absolutely. People are going to devour this. Don't misunderstand me. Your previous work on the female form is proficient. But that's mere aesthetics. This is soulful. It's exploratory. It's brilliant. We'll show it tonight. We'll get an initial reaction. No, we're not. What time is this party? Why, so you can be fashionably late? Silly boy. You know I don't bother with such pettiness. Well, we told people around eight. Well, then I will be seeing you at nine. So what do you wear to a masquerade ball, anyway? It's more of a goth rave masquerade. Oh, goth rave masquerade. Great. I have that in my closet. I figured you would. And the ladies? James, I told you, there are no women tonight. Better yet. Is your dance card filled? Promise me you'll save me a fox trot. James, I got a thousand things to do. I got to get off the phone, all right? Say no more, Martha Stewart. Off my property. Here. Off.
I wish I had my video camera because you look like you in that ridiculous bathing suit. <laughs> Why the hell wouldn't I? I bet you thought I was the psycho from next door, huh? <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna borrow this, all right? Yeah. I hope you cut your nuts off with it. Hold that thought. What the f happened to your head? I cut it painting. You got it painting? <laughs> Come over for a beer, take the edge off. I can't, I'm busy. Hot tubbing is busy. I was taking a breather until you interrupted me. <laughs> Thanks for the apology. You sure you don't want to come over? I mean, it is almost beer o'clock. I can't, I got a model coming to sit for me. Model? Did I say model? <laughs> no, I didn't say model. <laughs> okay. Go home. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey, baby, it's me again. Hey, how are you? Just wanted to make sure you're all right. Oh, God, did I sound that stressed before? No, no. <laughs> it's not what I meant. I just, uh, you know, wanted to make sure you were all right. What, you mean alive all right? <sighs> Isn't it a little unusual for you to be calling me in the middle of the day just to find out if I'm still breathing? Yeah, I know. I just, uh... I've had one of those bad feelings all day, and uh, I'll just be a lot happier when you're home. Okay, now I'm officially freaked out. <laughs> it's nothing. Just, uh, just drive safe, okay? Would you stop it? Don't tempt fate. The board bird on mine, too. Ugh, I have to take this. All right. Be careful, okay? Stop it. I will. <laughs> I love you, Adrian. You know that, right? I love you too, baby. Let's go home. I swear, man. We're gonna drink like fishes tonight. Just go I home. Know, are you sure you didn't need a pair of extra eyes, you know, just to help you get it? James, I have the biggest show in my life next week, and you're stopping me from work. Okay? Some work? Go. That's real tough work, buddy. I mean, I swear, it's some racket you've got to think that that is work. James, okay, my work is a tribute to women. What the f Who the f are you? You sure you don't need a break? We will drink like fishes tonight. Now go home. I Just got go home. beer for each of us. Go to Michelle. 
Vic Michelle. Don. She's a lucky lady. All right, um, I'll see you tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, baby. What's wrong? I don't know. It just must be really hard for you to go from worrying about me all day to painting naked women and giving them long lingering hugs in the driveway and... What are you talking about? I've always painted women. You're being silly. Am I? Yeah, you are. It's just... I was having a rough day as it was, and then you call me and you get me all freaked out, and then it almost did end up in a horrible accident, and... What happened? It was stupid. I, I... I was leaving the office, I was down in the garage, I heard a sound. I nearly ran over some poor guy. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, you know? I just... I believe if you hadn't gotten me all freaked out, none of it would have happened. I'm just glad you're okay. Okay? What did you do? Just a paper cut. Mm -hmm. Peut-être uh, tu veux monter en haut. Je vais te déshabiller. <sighs> Tout doucement. Hein? C'est pas juste. Ah, oh, c'est très juste. How am I supposed to stay ready? Drinks. Oh, some wine. Pina Grigia. Mm, beer. Read my mind. <laughs> hey, cool. I can use black and white on this. Color TV was invented, what? What, like 50 years ago? My husband, excited about black and white. Mm. You guys know that uh, <laughs> there's no such colors as black and white. What the hell are you talking about? Only shades of gray. 
Thank much you. like reality. Okay, it is definitely too early to be talking philosophy at this point in the evening. Here, here. Mm. <laughs> okay, I propose a toast to great friends, great partying, and beautiful wives. Oh. <laughs> you okay, man? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> All right, who wants uh, girls? <laughs> appetizers, appetizers. I think you need a lot I'm of starving. appetizers. I'm starving. Starving? Yeah. Okay, great. In. Let's do it. I'll help you. Okay, great. Oh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> thank you. So, how'd you put that away? No. <laughs> put it away. Camera shy, not you. Why don't you save it for when the party gets interesting? <laughs> a matter of time before the male species gets snuffed out altogether. Poor James. How about a beer? Huh, buddy? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. guest went to leave and accidentally ran him over. Do you know the driver? No, he, he's a friend of a friend. Is he going to be in a lot of trouble? If he was drinking, he is. Look, I think I have everything I need from you, Mr. Jonas. And, and the couple, are, are they going to be all right? They'll live. Look, you have a good night tonight. Be safe. Thanks a lot, officer. Are those people going to be all right? Yeah, it looks like it. What a freakish thing, huh? Maybe they were victims of their own karma. What, you're saying it's their fault? No. Cosmic law. Whatever you put out there comes back at you. Here we go. The guru is here to enlighten us. Don't you have any compassion? I'm just saying that I, I don't believe there are accidents in life. So technically, did that happen on your property or mine? Because I really don't want to have to explain this to the insurance company. Isn't that a bit insensitive? I'm thinking of the practicalities. I don't want to lose our house. Take it easy. Anyway, that definitely killed my buzz. Now I have to go play catch up. Yeah, I was just... Do you remember that feeling I was having this morning, how I felt like this was gonna happen? Yeah. You said it was about me. No, I, I know, but maybe... Maybe I misread the whole thing. <laughs> Adrian, you want so badly to believe that you're some kind of... shaman, that... <sighs> you make these crazy leaps in your mind, you... you connect things that have nothing to do with each other whatsoever. Now, we are having a party in your honor. And I would like to be able to enjoy it with you, please. Okay. Thank you. I love it. Mm.
great party. This is Alyssa. Isis, pleasure. Really nice to meet you. Isis, that is an incredibly unusual name. She was the Egyptian goddess of fertility. Wow, we. <laughs> Has Adrian ever painted you? I bet they're gorgeous. Mm, no such luck. Well, surely you're not too shy to pose for him. I'm not shy about my body, if that's what you mean. But Adrian reveals far more than just a physical form. But then. Artists are supposed to be conveyors of the soul, aren't they? <laughs> you all make it seem so romantic and glorious. <laughs> but in order to convey what lies within the soul, you must first confront it. And that can be dangerous, kind of like opening Pandora's box. Don't you have to create from your imagination? Absolutely. But imagination is a double-edged sword. So what's your passion? I'm very fond of Greek tragedies. There is so much to learn from them about human nature, relationships, love, fate, even law. The characters are quite compelling. They're flawed and beautiful in equal measure. Like Amphitrite. I'm sorry, Amphitrite? Goddess of the sea. Sea represents our emotions. Submerged emotions cause the most waves, right? I like the way you put that. Amphitrite's husband, Poseidon, had several love affairs, so she became jealous and angry. Ah, a woman scorned. Is that what you relate to? I am intrigued by the idea of how love, once tainted, can damage people. If you think about it, sex is the center of almost every human drama. Even the great quest in history contain an element of sexual conquest. Well, I, uh, unfortunately, I must make my rounds. I'm gonna deal out 10 cards, face down, flip one over, and then you have to tell me whether it's gonna be higher or lower. If you're right, you move on to the next card. If not, this is all you. Okay, first card. All right. Whoa! Low. Beginner's luck. Next card. Low. Come see this. Love. Wow. <laughs>
low. Hi. while showing the progression of the artist toward greatness. Now, Adrian is ready to take his rightful place. There you are. Here I am. <laughs> Everybody is saying that this painting must be in your show. Really? Absolutely. And they're all going to bring their checkbooks to the Bradbury Gallery in Soho for your first ever showing in New York City. Ha! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be so modest. <laughs> this is very evocative piece. What was the inspiration for this one? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think I was channeling at the time. Channeling what, exactly? A resident of Hades? Oh, no, no, no. Hades commanded the demonic forces of the underworld. This is really more of a private demon. Let me show you something I can get you a little personal friendship deal on. You don't agree? No, I, I don't subscribe to the concept of hell. Oh, yes. You don't believe it exists? As an actual place? No. Hell to me is more of a, a devolution of the mind. Well, I was raised Catholic, which means hell has a zip code. Anyway, great work. Thanks. Congratulations. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in there.
looking for what? What were you looking for? I was looking for you. I'm right here. I'm right here. She has to get Oh, there she is. You <laughs> have We're playing the frog to make it. No, it's a chicken game. You need to be involved in this. You need to get involved. Stop it. Just a second. You all right? Yeah, I just uh, need a couple minutes alone. Why don't you tell me? It's nothing. Adrian, stop isolating yourself. You're so tormented. What makes you say that? Your painting, the screaming face. You're reading too much into it. Am I? I can see it in your work. It's what makes you such a gifted artist. What do you see? Hmm? What do you see, my, my tortured soul? Huh? <laughs> That's just pretentious bullshit. It's a fucking cliche. I think you're just afraid because I see so much about you. Huh? Maybe... Maybe too much? Adrian, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's like a hundred people out there. So? So what? What if the whole world hears us? Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get him out of here before he does any more damage. Okay, great. You guys have a good time? We've had a blast. Great. See Where you is the tribute artist? Where is. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Let's have another round on me. No. 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 Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold a sec. This is one of my best buds. I want to toast to our friendship. You've toasted yourself to a crisp. Oh, uh, you have to spoil everything. I mean, this is my friend. <laughs> Can't hold your liquor there, frat boy. <laughs> liquor? I just met her. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Listen, do me a favor, be a good girl, and fetch us another beer. Are you out of your fucking mind? Okay, let's go. Let's go. I am so sorry. Okay, he's just drunk. <sighs> that excuse is getting really old. Dude, don't listen to these chicks. Okay, the party's not over yet. <laughs> Good night, All mine. All mine. <laughs> Bye. Let's go, folks.
upstairs. No, I mean, let's go. What are you doing with that thing? I found that next to my painting. What painting? The screaming face. It was lying right up against it. Hmm. <laughs> Boo. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Would you put the hatchet down? <sighs> what are you so freaked about? I think I know who was wearing that. Who? Our new neighbor. And he invited himself to our party. <laughs> the little old lady whose house you were sneaking around earlier? What old lady? The widow Levine. You know who lives there? Yeah. Yeah, a letter came addressed to her last week, and um, I took it over to her, and uh, she was making cookies. She makes the best cookies. But that, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, there was a pair of men's work boots at the back door. Maybe she has a caretaker? Maybe that's who's been watching me the whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> this morning, somebody was spying on me from the house next door. I saw a shadow in the window, and, and all day long he's been playing this kind of cat and mouse game with me. All day long, fucking with me. And then tonight <laughs> at the party, he decides he's gonna go by the fire pit, right, and wear this fucking mask and, and just leer at me all night long. goes up to my studio and leaves a mask there for me to find. So a masked caretaker <laughs> is stalking you. <laughs> Adrian, really? Really, honey? I'm, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not being paranoid this time, okay? That glass? vision of it falling and crashing into a thousand pieces and I know it's connected totally it, it's connected with a, a bunch of things that I've seen today Adrian Adrian honey come here you've been working so hard I mean you've had a long day and I've had a long day it's just Calm down a little. Mm. Mm. I think maybe we should go upstairs and pick up where we left off in the shower. Mm. <clears throat> Take off my garter. Nothing happened. Meet me upstairs in two minutes. Two minutes.
I thought I heard something. This is getting out of hand, Adrian. We just got done talking about it. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, baby. What made you run up here like a crazy person? It's like you're having a nervous breakdown or something. I'm fine, baby. I'm fine. You gotta get some sleep. I'm worried about you. In a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to bed. I'm exhausted. James. No. No, 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 no. James. No. James. Oh, my God. Buddy, 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 no, buddy. Don't go. Don't go. James, no, no, no. Is no. Right? no. Oh. James. James, come on, man. Uh, uh. Come on, James. James. Come on. He's dead. Don't tell me he's dead. Don't tell me he's dead. Is he dead? He just came through the door with a fucking mask on. He was playing a fucking stupid joke. You're f you. <laughs> I didn't know it was him. I swear to God, he just came through the door. I didn't know it was him. <laughs> we have to call 911. We have no. to call the police. No, 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 we can't call the police. Are you fucking crazy? Why? What do you think they're gonna think? What do you think? I just they, they shot him. Self defense. Self defense. He doesn't have fucking weapons. He was, was an intruder. We didn't know. I just shot this fucking guy. I think know, about it. That's all they're gonna the think mask. is I just shot he him. He has the mask. We didn't know. Forget the mask. Honey, we gotta call the police. We gotta get rid of the body. What? We have to get rid of his body. No one's gonna believe us. Why? No, Our lives why? are gonna be why ruined. Why won't they believe us? Why won't they believe us? Think Adrian? about it. I just shot him. I just shot him for no reason. But they—we didn't know. 
we can tell the police the truth. Why Baby. can't we tell them? Please Baby, tell me talking. why we can't stop tell them. Stop talking. You're hysterical right now. We have to get rid of the body. It's our only chance, baby. I can't do this. It's our only chance. Help me. No. Help me. No. I swear to God, this is our only chance. Just help me. How's it going, officer? How can I help you? Some of the neighbors reported hearing what they thought were gunshots. Gunshot. <laughs> when when was this? About a half an hour ago. This is our second call to your address tonight, isn't it, Mr. Jonas? Yeah, there was a there was an accident earlier. You think you heard anything at all that might have alarmed the neighbors? Nah, nothing. So you had some people over tonight. Is anyone from that party still here? No, no, they uh, they all went home. Well, according to the call we got, there were shots and screams coming from this direction. You didn't hear anything like that? No. I, gu I guess I was asleep. You home alone, sir? No. My wife's upstairs. Mind if I ask her a few questions? No, that... What I'm saying is that, um... She's sleeping right now. Is she a heavy sleeper? Oh. <laughs> the truth is, she... She had a lot to drink earlier. So she's just sleeping it off. You know what? There's always these high school kids across the field over there, getting drunk, setting off firecrackers. That's probably what this is all about. Could be. Still like to ask her a few questions, just to be sure everything is all right. I don't think that's a good idea. She, uh, like I said, she. Adrian? Are you Mrs. Jonas? Yes. Hey, baby, did we did we wake you? Ma'am, your husband said you were sleeping. Yeah, I was. Did you happen to hear anything unusual tonight? Any loud noises? No. No, I just woke up and wondered where my husband was. Well, looks like everything's all right here. Sorry to bother you, folks. Not at all. Be safe now. Okay, we gotta get the body out of here before we come back. What? What? What about Michelle? Fuck. Oh God, what if she heard something? What if she saw something? What if she called the cops? What if she's alive? Baby, she... baby, she, she would have been here. She would have been here. She hasn't heard anything. We gotta hurry, okay? What are we ever gonna say to her? We're not gonna say anything. <laughs> Nothing, right? Uh, right, baby? I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to look at her ever again, but... <laughs> hey, baby, we can't think about that right now. I love you. I love you so much, but we can't think about that. All right? We just have to stick to the plan, and nobody can see us. What are we gonna do? Upstairs. Right. Stick to the plan. Okay, go. Time. I know that cop's gonna come back. All right? Grab the gun. Put it on the dresser.
We're going to the garage. Why are we going to the garage? We gotta make sure there's nothing identifiable on them. Trust me. Come on. Everything that's gonna identify. What do you mean? No, 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 no. If they find the body and and they can use his fingertips and his teeth to fucking identify him, so just this has to be done. No, no, you This can't has do to be this. done. No, 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 it's James. This is fucking. We're too far gone. This has to be done. You can't do this. We can't He's do it. He's dead already. He's stop. dead already. Stop, 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 and think for a second. Give me the pliers. No, no, there's a better way. No, we'll, we'll, um, we'll go someplace. We'll find a hole. We'll, we'll, we'll dig a hole. We'll dig a hole so deep that nobody will ever find him. We can't do this. Give me the pliers. We can't do this. No. It's got to be done, Ileana. You've lost your... But you listen. You just listen to... It's me! It is me, Adrian! Oh, my... Isis, babe. Isis, who did that? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Ah! Baby, baby. Isis. What is this? Thank you. 
has a bear so. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Good day. Good work. Get out of my head! Get out! Fuck with me right now. What the fuck are you looking at? I know who you are. Why the fuck did you do this to me? Oh, I think you're right. Bro. Welcome home. to him it, it, it wasn't like that I we were so young he was so intense and I could never return the feelings that he had for me so I broke it off I, I hadn't been in touch with him in years I, I had no idea he was even married I, it's gonna be all right sweetheart oh, what if this is all my fault Adrian was a very sick man, Eliana. Everyone close to him knew something was wrong, including Isis. He had such mood swings. He was delusional at times. Obviously, he was far worse than anyone thought. What if... Maybe... Maybe I did cause it. Maybe I maybe I liked the attention. Maybe I liked the pedestal that he put me on. Maybe. Did you betray him? No. I mean, not. I was seeing other people, but he always knew. I told him. He said that he would have any piece of me that he could get. I thought that was so, so desperate. We've all hurt someone who's loved us at one time or another. You were very young. Not if this is your fault. 
Adrian's demons were his own. And they died 